Hey there. Welcome to uh, the Friday morning nameless. My name is Chad the Alcoholic, and uh, I'm going to make a sandwich. And uh, just got home from work. Uh, recently tripped over a conversation between Bethel McGrew and uh, I don't know. I don't know the other guy's, the guy's name is something Cook. Anyways, they were, they were discussing uh, Jordan Peterson and Christianity. And this is a question that I hear a lot brought up about uh, Jordan Peterson. And sometimes even people like... Uh, John Bervakey and uh, some other folks. We got some bacon here, yeah. Anyways, it's a, I think I have a, I have a question for, uh, for those of you who uh, wish to weigh in on, on this. Um, When somebody, when I hear people talking about Jordan Peterson and, and John Bervakey, but I, I want to focus mostly on Jordan Peterson. When I hear the, a lot of Christians, they say things like, well, he's not really a Christian or, you know, uh, like there's something insufficient about his status um, of whether he is or isn't Christian. Uh, and... I, first of all, I don't think that it would be, um, it might not be wise for any of us to go around saying that we're Christian. It's like this idea that, it, that Peterson had where he says, uh, who dare, who dare say they believe in God, right? And he says, basically, like, nobody really should say say that they believe in God if they're not willing to live it in almost like a perfect way. No, I understand what he's saying. It's 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 a little silly, right, in the way they sing, but then there's another aspect of what he's saying which is very true and I think really helpful. We got to get my bread. By the way, <clears throat> if you guys have not tried Dave's killer bread, you probably should. Um Anyways, so where I get annoyed, so in the way that Peterson says, who dare says, say they believe in God, I think it would also be wise to say, who dare say that somebody else doesn't believe in God, right? Because it's like, who the hell are you? Um, and when I think about Peterson and kind of the way that that he came onto the scene and he um, kind of helped people in a way kick down doors um, and kick over uh, presuppositions about or perceptions about how life is, like, so that people can see something new. I think that he's done it in a way that was possibly more powerful than, one moment here, more powerful than I've seen anybody else do. Um, and, and I think, like, if in fact Peterson uh, is a member of a church, of some sort. I hope that he never says that he that he is a member of a church. Um, I hope that he always maintains his anonymity um, around his his spirituality. And uh, oh, pardon me, just tooted. My wife is calling. Um. Anyways, I hope that he never says that he is in fact a member of a, of a, of a church. 
Um, and, and I hope that we can stop saying that somebody isn't a Christian because of the words that are coming out of their mouth. I think that it's stupid, actually. And um, it's also degrading, I think. Like, what if, what if it wasn't Peterson, right? And I know I've seen people do this. Let's say it's just somebody that you meet uh, in your neighborhood. And now because they're not a Christian, what? What does that mean? Because you said they're not a Christian? Um, like, what, what does that mean? Why is it that it, why is it, does it, why do you, you demand that they say that they're Christian? What, what's the point of that? Like, are you some sort of authority on this? Um, are you, have you placed yourself uh, in, in some moral position? Oh, Dolly thinks she has to go out. She would just tell, don't worry. Dolly, go lay down. Anyways, who cares? Why do, why do they have to say the words that you want to hear? If Are they going to be, will they then be a sufficient person? in your mind, because they said the words that that you want to hear, you know, like, why don't they just lie to you? Then you'll know, then, then they can just say, yes, I'm a Christian. And then you can leave them alone. I mean, it's so dumb. <clears throat> and it's like, uh, I think it's dehuman dehumanizing too. Just who gives a shit whether somebody's a Christian or not, you know? And honestly, who gives a shit whether Jordan Peterson is a Christian or not? Seriously. I mean, it's like, who gives a shit if somebody wants to worship crystals? Are they a witch? Who gives a fuck? Seriously. I know this lady who, um, she, came, Dolly, leave it alone. She came into recovery through Alcoholics Anonymous and she never went to church or anything. Like she didn't know anything about, about the church or anything like that. Um, but she started out on her journey for, of recovery <clears throat> and her first tool that she used for understanding God was crystals, right? I would never use crystals because it's not my thing. Those, it's weird, they're crystals. But she used them. And then from there, she started watching Joel Olstein on television on Sundays with her fiance. Isn't that weird? Now I know a lot of you just thought, gross, Joel Olstein, disgusting. Again, it's not for me, but that's what she did. And then she went from doing that to going to church with her mother and her fiance in a church every Sunday, right? And it's like a little mega, you know, smoke machines and shit like that. But honestly, who gives a fuck? But she's not a Christian, is she? Right? For a certain people, right? And... Or, or just because you say she is a Christian, does that make her one? I mean, criminy. Like, let's get, let's get over this, this silliness. I mean, honestly, what good is it doing? So, I'm gonna finish making my sandwich. I'm gonna call my wife and let my dog out. I just was wondering what you think about these topics, and uh, have a great day. <clears throat>